Okay, so upon request, uh, I will play Spock and you will play Kirk. The results of our Twitter slash live stream vote. Oh, and we should mention too that this is going to be from your perspective. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm here with you now. Okay, let's do it. Ready. Their numbers are overwhelming. Surrender may be our only option. No! Don't give them an inch. All right, no intro. Just start fighting. All right. Who are we shooting at, I wonder? Do we have auto fire here? Look at these crazy lizard people. These have to be the Gorn, right? I guess. They've never shown them in the movies. They are. I'm not making any progress. Oh. Oh. What, someone die? Oh, this seems scripted. Oh, uh, okay. Like, we just didn't win. <laughs> we didn't win. Grenade knocked us into a different room. Or they drug us here. Close up. Spock. We look kind of angry. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell with you, though. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. It looks like we're about to do fisticuffs here. Yeah? This has got to be, we're going to Tarantino. <laughs> yep. It'll be like so and so hours earlier. Oh, how'd you call that? That's funny. Because otherwise, why did the game start with us it beating move, each other? Captain. I'm aware of that, Mr. Spock. Eight hours earlier. Yeah, you're right. We are playing 3D chess, though. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I wonder if there's just like open world enterprise. Oh, that would be too good. All right. Whoa, you're running slow. Look at this crazy Captain. alien. Who's Chief. raisin head? <laughs> I just got the results of those scans, Commander. Chief? I just got the results Whoa. of those scans. Check out the tricorder. Cool. Old Y. Kirk moved to. What? Clock's ticking, Commander. I'm look around here. Oh, I bet this is for if we were playing single player. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, to control the AI. Let's go in here. Nope. <laughs> no. Oh, right here, noob. Hey, you know what? I bet red squares on doors mean locked. Good point. I'm not trying to run. It's just very... Oh, look who it is. Green. Hey, baby. Hello. What's on your clipboard? I'll see you later. I will not. Oh, look. Here's the bridge. Wow, we're really close to the bridge. What's going on down there? The radiation from those binary stars is making communications difficult, but the station appears to be in some sort of distress. You can talk to Scotty. Oh, let's do it. Mr. Scott, is there no way to transport survivors off that vessel? I like to think that nothing is impossible, Commander, but with that much interference out there, I wouldn't recommend it. Stupid place to park a space station if you ask me. I love the music. Yeah. Every once in a while, you spaz out. Oh, that's just me looking around. Hey, which one of you left this phase generator running? Someone the thing is, it's so sensitive. You have to barely touch the analog stick to prevent from running. Whoa, did we just walk through each other? Do I no. have to do everything okay. myself? Good. Check out this shuttle bay, though. This is so cool. You never get to really get a good view of this in the movie. We should engage mag boots now, sir. Mag boots. Okay, whoa. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. Got it. Okay. Wait for it. Go ready to run. Go. Go now. Okay. Oh. And then red. Got it. Cover. I was close. <laughs> Here it is. It's gonna be cover. close. Oh, oh, no. cover. Come back, come back. Oh, get into cover. I can't. Oh no. There. Whew. Let's go. Whoa, this is weird. Yeah, mag boots. We're through the core. Let's find that stranded crew. We can get this thing open together. Run. Watch out. 
Well, that one wasn't a... That was exhaust. I'm trying! I can't get down! Oh, man, it killed me! Are you dead? Yes! Yep. Try again. That cover wasn't enough for both of us, I guess. <laughs> I believe we may be able to open those vents. Perhaps our phasers will work. Worth a shot. Ow, watch out! Oh, that one wasn't covered. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, Spock. I do not think this station is salvageable, Captain. I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's a piece of crap now. There is no time to stop. The problem with Quinto is you can't tell if he's phoning it in. No time to watch the sunset! <laughs> Run! It's the blessing and a curse. Yes, Spock is just pretty much always monotone. Cool. Who's flying? Let's jump. I wonder who's flying that shuttle. They need a raise. Sulu usually flies the shuttle. Oh, that was just the opening... <laughs> it's yeah. sequence. So, so far we've learned that the Vulcans have some kind of weird research. Look at that symbol. Oh yeah, like the symbol's kind of messed up. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that means. If that's a Vulcan thing. Two days ago, and for some unknown reason, the power to our station was shut off. Without mm. power, our station could not withstand the gravitational pull of the stars. What moron would shut down the machine if they knew this would happen? That moron would be Sirach. Never heard of him. Sirach is Tamar's father, and a great mentor to myself and the Vulcan people. Uh, sorry? <laughs> what what the heck was Sirach that? shut down power to your station? He must have been aware that doing so would be catastrophic for you and your crew. Unfortunately, the Helios machine may have caused an anomaly. Oh, you're no, going to stand close? I'll stay. This just keeps getting better. We need to get to the bridge. Whoop, went through her. Uh, I'm one with her. <laughs> Spock, this isn't time for Ponfar. Let's go. I think you made a Star Trek joke, but I don't. I don't know it. You don't know the joke. <laughs> okay. Don't. That's how the Vulcans get it all. Oh, okay. Yeah, it does kind of look like a tear in space. It <laughs> very much looks like a space butthole. Who is this guy? Where's the guy with the robot head <laughs> from the movie? <laughs> That all he did was, like, count down. 1,600. Yeah, this is where he stood, wasn't it? I may have to cancel our dinner plans. This guy's like a DJ. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, drop the beat, yellow shirt. <laughs> no, no, no. See, what you misunderstand, Seth, is that in the future, the best form of user interface is a DJ turntable. Don't get too comfy, Spock. I was simply resting my legs before our mission. Captain. What do you think about this, Captain? <laughs> right. uh, get the hell out of my seat. All right. What are you doing? Oh, I can't now. You're in the way. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I could. It wouldn't let me. Go for it. All right. This is where I sit, buddy. Oh, this never gets old. <laughs> this never gets old. I believe we have a problem. Really? But you can't make that jump. It is highly doubtful that either of us can cross unharmed. <laughs> hmm. What do you think we'll do? Whoa. Do we have a co-op move? Oh, no. I don't think so. Oh, wait. I see an opportunity to hack something. There we go. Nice work. Whoa. Okay. You done transforming? Yes. Whoa. Who's this? Oh, I see. Somebody who... What the... Uh... It's not okay. Oh, uh, I'm gonna shoot this guy. I think that's a good idea. That guy wasn't right in the head. I understand that our lives were at risk, but we must endeavor not to use lethal force. Agreed. We both need to use stun from this point on. Okay. Oh, we have to scan the Vulcan. I think he's been poisoned. Scans show numerous toxins in the adrenal glands and bloodstream. Ten beat weight. Non-lethal takedown. Do it, Spock. Oh, neck pinch. 
Perfect. <laughs> Boy, can mind meld it. Are you sure you want to touch that guy? A mind meld is our only option. Whoa. Are you seeing this? No, I'm just watching you do it. Weird. What did you Anything? see, Spock? I have never encountered this before. His mind has been corrupted. Also, I now know the code to that door. <laughs> Enterprise, we have injured. Prepare to transport. Hi, sir. Everything all right? Yeah, just some Vulcan problems. So, the usual. <laughs> um, I went into like this cloudy haze and saw like a, a dinosaur eye and a tail and a weird. It, it was real, just like f memory fragments. Okay. But I now know the code to that door. Use the code. Man, I'm getting some J.J. Abrams lens flares right now. <laughs> it wouldn't be the new Star Trek without it. That's true. All right. Just set that in there. Good job. Twist it. Excellent. Whoa. If we move quietly Stealth. and maintain a low profile, oh, we should cool. avoid detection. Captain, if you must dispatch them, please be merciful. Understood. Sneaky. Look in the wall. I'm right behind you. If I find you, I do not know what I will do. Good job. Nice. Oh, crap. Can you help me? Leave now. Ow. Oh, Captain, help me. <laughs> My shot was me getting whipped by that guy while you were doing combat rolls in the other room. <laughs> All right, hack the door. All right. I got this guy. Hit him. Oh, man. Your takedown's funny. You just, like, punch him in the ribs. Dr. McCoy, have you been able to ascertain the nature of the Vulcan's infection? There seems to be high toxin levels. Origins unknown, but we'll continue to investigate. Who'd you hear that? Yes. That sounded kind of gorny. Whoops. <laughs> that was a weird jump. <laughs> <laughs> This game is, is kind of fun and cool, but it's also very unpolished. Whoa! There he is! Ugh. Get away! Oh! Hey, he is strong. I'll come up later. There. Vulcan pinch this punk. I shot him in the butt. Alright, good job. I almost don't want to stun him, but I guess we'll have to. Oh, you oh. can shoot those electrical things. What? When he pulls one out, shoot it. it seems to hurt. Right. Look, <laughs> the his health bar is called unknown. Yeah, I think we know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here he comes. Man, alive! You're down. Oh crap! No, don't hit me! Don't hit me! What was it? Blue? Blue. And there's this weird mini game too, but I can't figure it out. What the frick? Here comes. Oh, I have no idea what that was going on there. Yeah, I don't it worked though. Dude, back up a little bit. We've almost got him. This is a tough dude. All right, good. There we go. Got him. Holy moly, that guy's tough. Die long and prosper, you frickin... <laughs> Are you teabagging the gourd? <laughs> Maybe. For the first time, it looks like Chris and I will be going down two different paths this fall. Me towards the Xbox One and Chris to the PlayStation 4. We'll still be doing the show, but we'll be limited to using current-gen games or only split-screen games on the newer systems. We can't really afford both consoles at launch, unless we have some help.
For around a year, we've been accepting contributions from you, which let us buy new recording equipment, which also lets us live stream. So now we're creating the Co-op Mode Next Gen Fund, and every little bit counts. If you're willing to help the fund, visit thecoopmode.com.